Well, good morning, and it's another beautiful day here in Bali. Um, right, what we're going to do today? We're going to head up towards Changu. We're going to brave the traffic, and um, I would like to go to the day shop. Um, and we're just going to have a look. We're also going to try and find uh, a chap we used to. Um, he, he used to have a warung, um, literally just over there where it's you know all been destroyed now um called basil leaves he was a guy called julius now i've got some di directions of where he's meant to be now because he, he moved to Changu. so we're going to try and see him i can't promise it's going to happen but um it's all, all going to depend on traffic i mean if the traffic's free flowing it's going to be great if the traffic's not free flowing we may have to change your plans anyway let's see what happens we're marking the and this is our adventures. And before we do anything, first thing we're going to do is we are going to drop in, uh, drop off some washing in the local laundry, which is just up the road here, a place called Krishna Laundry. So here we are. Hello, how are you? So, there you are, that's it. All would like dropped off and that will be ready four o'clock today. So how easy is that? And it's gonna cost us probably about, about two pound that's gonna cost us. Um, the funny thing is, you know the chap that always talks to me up here? This is all their unit, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. Oh, the same so, family. Yeah, father, father saw me and he went, <laughs> <laughs> You know it's us because yeah. you're the brakes. So if you remember a couple of videos back where the brakes failed on this thing. And uh, as we're driving along, first of all, in mornings, um, it squeals like hell every time V touches the brakes. Even uh, when you don't touch it. Even when you don't touch the brakes at times, <laughs> yeah. So um, hopefully um, it is going to bed in. I mean, we've got quite a long drive ahead of us tomorrow. So fingers crossed it's going to be a lot better. Uh, obviously, like I say, I said in the previous video, we're, hello, we're off to the West Coast um, tomorrow. Um, we're going to be stopping off at Madawi tomorrow night. And then we'll head on and see where we get to. Um, with Pamuta on being the, the, like the final. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you can swallow the fly then. Um, with Pamuta on being the final destination, and um, there's a national park up there I would really like to go and have a look at. So we're going to see how time suits us. And maybe we'll um, go into the national park. I think you can do tours in there. So there's uh, a fourth um, mountain. mountain. Fourth mountain volcano. Volcano. I don't know how active it is. I think it's very active. And V would like to see very that. Very rarely spoken about. And it's quite a small one in comparison. He might be able to see it. Absolutely. Yeah, we're just saying it's very hazy. Um, unless someone's got a huge, great bonfire. Maybe that um, another building's got up in Simonyak. Well there was um, a couple of nights ago, I don't know if you, you've seen it on the news, um, there's a lot of fireworks being let off at the moment. Um, every night, loads and loads of fireworks. And um, a stray fireworks um, set a load of villas on fire, yeah, didn't it? It was assumed it was a stray yeah, fireworks. Yeah, well, assume, yeah, of course, you can. Can't say definitely, but um, the probability is pretty great, I suppose, when you see the amount of fireworks that are going off at the moment. But um, beach walk. We've been in there, yeah, the beach walk. We will go in there at some stage. Um, if nothing else, just to let you have a look around. Um, I can't see us buying anything much in there. It's all too expensive for us. It's more than a thousand rupees, I know. <laughs> Right, something else, um, and this is been told to us last night. Um, there's a, a bar just down here that between five and six on a Thursday night is giving you free beer. Absolutely no catch. Sorry. Um, absolutely no catch at all. So, um, which one is it? Is that one there? Is it? We think it may be this one here. Um, oh, tribe, yeah. It's not... Tribe. 
in tribe. Same here. Yep. So um, I'm going to try and get up. Um, I've bought myself in for a massage suddenly at four o'clock tonight. Um, so I might get manage to get up for half an hour and have a free beer. We'll see. Um, is anything in life free? I don't know, but they reckon the beer isn't there. Over on the uh, progress of this, they've um, put the little reliefs on the um, sides of the buildings now. It's starting to look very nice, isn't it? I'll show you this every time we go past, just so you can see the updates if you're watching the videos. Come up here yesterday, you saw how busy it was. It was just like nose to tail, going nowhere. And look at it now. So here we are again, um, second fill up of the uh, trip, holiday. Yeah, I don't adventure. know how many miles we've done, but um, I yeah. think this thing takes too much, but. Yeah, well, last time we put about 300,000 rupee in, didn't we? Mm -hmm. And that was nearly empty, so. Yeah. I, what I'll do is I'll take a photograph of the mileage today and then. Uh, yeah. Well, I'll say it's 61,626. All your different choices. Come on. Uh, fill her up, please. Yeah. Yes, please, yeah. So you can see, if we watch that. Uh -huh. This is the really unexciting things in, in Bali, but a um, necessary thing, even if you've got a bike. You notice all the bikes, they come in the other side. I'm just gonna let you over there, and the bikes are all taken in over there. So the cars don't have to queue beyond the bikes. So there we go. Um, how much are we going to take? We can sort of work out the fuel consumption after this, can't we, when we fill up again? 13,200 per litre. 13,200 per litre, yeah. Wow. 70 p a litre, people. Now, all you guys in the UK, would you would you love to pay 70 p a litre for your fuel? Cool. If they can do it here, why can't we do it back at home, eh? No, I don't know. What's that they call it? Rip off for it. Oh, so... 400 maybe rupiah, 400,000 rupiah. Mm -hmm. oh, no. 374,000, oh no, a little bit more. Oh, that's so much competition here, either, is that Yeah. We should we make the UK cheaper? Yeah. So he's squeezing in, I think he's gonna go for 400. Just can't quite do it. 30 litres, 30.11 litres, and 397,452 rupee. There you go. How easy is that? And they do it for you. You can see, mate, here. Oh, the European. Europeans. I think they've broken down. Good, they've run out of fuel. Yeah, they've. Um, that car, they actually ran out of fuel. I haven't got my phone. He's coming through. Yeah, everybody's got out the way though. Yeah, and everybody's got out the way, which is really impressive to see, isn't it? Yeah, it must be a nightmare for emergency services out here. Oh, what's happening here? Getting out. All right, abandoning the car. Yes, <laughs> long as the driver's not getting out, eh?
Huh? Yeah, I was looking at that. Well, yeah. Yeah, very possibly. Chill out sunset. Well, we haven't been down this way for a little, quite a while now, and um, a few years, in fact, and it's changed immensely, just beyond uh, recognition, to be perfectly honest. I had to think the first time I came out this way, many years ago, is you were just driving through uh, rice fields and little villages. Amazing how someone can grow up so quickly, really. Well, the old patch, I mean, look at it. But, yeah. But look at that building. How big that's going to be. The rice terrace. Yeah, it was. It was. It was like that. I mean, how quickly it changes. Yeah, everybody wants to follow, don't they, really, I suppose. Well, the, the advancement in technology, mobile phone, internet, again, all the Balinese have got all that, but they don't have all the other things that Westerners have, and then, then they can see it, so they want it. Why wouldn't they? Yeah. But, um, yeah, become more materialistic, you know. You get little pockets like that, which are beautiful. So we have just gave little pockets like that, which are quite nice. To Mora Square, ticket to the moon. Here we go again. Um, we were going to pop it down to this beach. Uh, that's down the end of here, and it's all been blocked off. Um, well, I guess they're building, I guess it's going to be a private beach down in there, which is a shame. This is what happens, this is why we're going to go further up to the north, um, because a lot of this hasn't happened up there. You can see that. See all the building stuff down there. Imagine if you wanted to get to the beach, you'd have to stay in here. Beach to Bed Valley. I would imagine it's quite nice in there. You'd have to sit here and look. Hmm. We come up from that little quiet area, turn left, and we're right back in the busyness. Well, it's certainly busy down here. Um, traffic is quite heavy. This is quite good, I think. <laughs> yeah, well, it's flow. It's flowing, isn't it? Um, we were... For us, it's fine. We just want to have a good look around. You know? So it's fine if you cover a lot of miles. Um, you don't get really eight feet. <laughs> <laughs> well, apart from my left one, obviously, on the cliff. Okay. We'll hire an automatic next time. <laughs> yeah. I pulled a muscle yesterday in that in that weather in that weather in that weather in that traffic. It was um I don't know if I pulled a muscle. It's just it, the muscle was really aching. Doesn't seem to be hurting today. Yeah. Get a massage from Sandy up on the beach later. Further down the road, away from the junctions, and it's all um, freed up again. Um, Well, for me, it's certainly changed around here. Uh, we haven't been here for just before COVID, I think. Um, none of this was here. Uh, it felt totally different, but um, I guess that's progress. But uh, 
dais is, the dais shop is just up over there. That's the closest we could park. So we're gonna go up and have a look at that now. I love coming here, I really do. Um, it's where all the bikes are built here. Yeah? Let's have a look and see what we got. All in various states, I suppose. That's quite nice. Well, I got. For the workshop and see what they got. It's a little CB two hundred there. Another Honda, I think that's probably um, a 100. That's probably about a 1970-ish bike. A lot of newer, well, I say newer stuff, but um, now you don't see many of these at all. It'd be a shame that that's probably gonna be pulled apart, but um, that's what they do here. That's really, really nice. Um, Experience here is very bike orientated. And surf, surfing, of course, as well, because uh, we are in Chengdu. Um, so they do the surfboards here. And it looks down the end here that they do the um, custom paint jobs. This is where they're doing the custom paint jobs. So if there's anything we can see at the moment, a proper little booth in there. So it's uh it's not you know just done in the backyard, it's done properly. Then you look around, you'll see all little tiny bit projects on the go. Well that's quite it's funny what you see when you uh, look. looking bike some things are changed like the light up underneath the wheel Well, there you go. That was the um, Temple of Enthusiasm, as it's called. That's um, Deus in Chengdu. Uh, we are, we have, I'll say we are, we have managed to find out where Julius, um, who used to have basil leaves down in, um, poppies, poppies. It was a gang of poppies, wasn't it? Poppies one. Poppies. It was poppies one. Yeah, it was. Kids town houses are. Yeah, we're cute town houses are now. Um, We've managed to find out where he is. He's, Warung is now called Tom Car, and we're going to try and find him. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> we're going to <laughs> going to try and find him. And well, it's a long time since we've seen him, so he probably won't recognise us. But I did find a photograph of me and him together many years ago. So uh, we'll see. Hopefully, he's still working there. It might be. His you know, we know his um, daughter works for him as well now, so maybe it's his daughter and not him. We'll have to find out, won't we? Anyway, let's get there and see.
certainly gets a bit chaotic when you start getting down this far. Um, bikes just dive for the nearest entrance and exit, don't they? Uh, if there's a space in the road, they're gone. They're doing it. No pavements, but there's people here with buggies. It must yeah. be a nightmare to navigate with young children. Oh, it must be, yeah, it must be. I can't imagine it's my idea of holiday. Future is bad enough for fooling children. <laughs> yeah, it was, wasn't it? Yeah. They're trying their best to you know, keep traffic yeah, flowing, though. Really doing. Yeah. Like absolutely brilliant. Good. Oh, it's a banjo, isn't it? I believe. Is it? Yeah. yeah. It's good if they're making an effort like that to uh, yeah. try and keep everything flowing. Just need to have a word with these fucking bugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some of them just don't even know what they're fucking doing. We've actually managed to find Julius, and here he is. And it looks like we're not the only people that have found Julius, because look, all the photos. <laughs> oh, lucky you found me. Oh, yes. Yeah. Now, one thing I've got to tell you is Julius made the best mass man curry ever. And I haven't had one this time, um, and I'm having one now. And there you are. And it is absolutely the best, yeah. Is it gonna be the same? Oh, the taste of that is amazing. That is really, really amazing. I love it. Have you owned been here? If you haven't been here, you need to come here. This is uh, Tom's Tom Cat. I'm sure you you got to come here. He is the loveliest, loveliest guy. So when you see him, just say Mark and V sent you. Thank you. And he'll charge you double. <laughs> Right, so we're heading back to um, Kuta now because we were going to go up to see Kuta on the beach. Um, but V's just had a message from Kuta that says he's gone to the hospital. So we're not really sure if we're going to see him again. Hopefully we will. Hopefully it's. It's, all right. it's just a checkup. <laughs> it is just a checkup, is it? Yeah. Okay. So um, we're not sure if we're going to get to see him today. And then tomorrow we're off to um, Madawi. So we won't see him for the weekend. So it might be a little bit longer before we actually manage to give him these uh, beer coolers. We'll see what happens anyway. We're going to head back and hopefully we will get to see him. So we've decided to skip the um, normal junction, go up a little bit and come down a road, which is probably two roads back from the main road. It takes just as long, but um, you're not safe. Yeah, look at this. No traffic. Well, it's nice though. Okay, so we come up the beach and Katut's still not here because he's in hospital, but apparently it's his sister that he is visiting in the hospital or taken to the hospital, not him himself. So don't worry people, he's okay. And I'm sure you're gonna see him in a later video anyway. Um, so what we've done, we've handed the, the coolers over uh, to um, Miko, and he's now unpacking, as you can see. <laughs> very happy, very happy. And everybody's gonna have 
drink shop. That's our shower free now. <laughs> so uh, we'll have our first bin tang in the new coolers in any second now. Here we have, there's Miko. He's holding up the cooler and the um, bin tang. I can't even think what I'm talking about. And we're just about to have one, brilliant. <laughs> we are. New bin tang, even fresher than the original version. <laughs>